Oh, hi there. I'm Alan Guinea. I'm a second year resident in emergency medicine at NYU Bellevue. My cameraman today is Dr. Salil Bandari, one of our attendings. Say hi, Salil. Hi, Salil. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use a non-invasive ventilator, also known as a CPAP or a BiPAP. Before I start, let me say that whenever you use one of these machines, you should page your respiratory therapist first. They know how to use them the best and will do all the work for you. However, there could be a rare emergency where you need to know how to set it up yourself. Here at Bellevue, we have a Philips V60 non-invasive ventilator. The machine has its own internal battery and its own internal oxygen supply, so it doesn't actually have to be attached to the wall and can travel with the patient during transport. Right now, we have it plugged in with a black power cord and this green oxygen delivery cord, which is attached to our wall oxygen. The machine comes stocked with tubing and masks. The tubing is actually two tubes attached together. You have a large tube for delivering air to your patient and a small one for measuring the pressure of that air. You can tell the two ends of the tubes apart because one of them has an air filter attached to it. This is the side of the tube you want to attach to the machine. Let's attach the tubing now to these ports to the right of the console. Big to big, small to small. The masks come in sizes from small to large, and the mask bags have helpful cutouts on them that allow you to size the mask to the face of your patient. I'm a medium. The mask is plastic and sits over the patient's face. The mask is attached with this webbing. You can adjust the size of the webbing with this Velcro, and you can attach the mask itself by using these snap closures. Let's attach the mask now to the other end of the tube. And then let's set it aside. This is the control panel of the V60. It may look intimidating, but it's touch activated, and really it's just a big iPad with tubes attached. Let's turn the machine on with the button to the bottom left. This machine has a number of settings and a number of modes. You can change the modes by using the Modes tab located right here. This machine has both CPAP and BiPAP modes, but you'll notice that there's no button that's actually labeled BiPAP. In the case of our machine, the BiPAP mode is actually labeled S slash T. That stands for Spontaneous Timed. It's a type of BiPAP mode where the machine can actually deliver a breath even if the patient isn't triggering it. Let's select that mode now by pressing the ST button and then the Activate button. Here in the Settings tab, you can change any of the settings for the mode you've selected. For instance, let's change the IPAP to 6 and click Accept. Let's change the EPAP to 4 and click Accept again. Often, patients have a lot of trouble when you first hook them up to BiPAP because the mask itself is claustrophobic and it's going to be pushing air down into their lungs, which can be very uncomfortable. One way around this is to attach the mask loosely at first and leave it off the patient's face like an open door. Then, as the patient becomes more comfortable, you can slowly close the door over their face. Finally, you can take the last snap and snap the mask closed. Congratulations! You've just learned how to use a non-invasive ventilator.